Behold the God-man ascending. Amid sadness and joyful wonder, the Saviour takes his leave, but behold, he is with us still and always. With great rejoicing, he ascends to the highest heaven, to the very throne of Almighty God. Let my prayer come into your presence. Let it rise like incense before you. Higher and higher he ascends, till his angel escorts no longer dare to venture on. Higher and higher they lift their gaze. Behold, he ascends like lightning. And in a loud voice, he triumphantly cries out, Abba, Abba, my dearest Father. A divine embrace, an eternal loving moment. The Saviour ascends and takes his place at the right hand of the Father, a place that is his by right from all eternity. And with great urgency he glances down the heights ascended and pleads, Behold, O Father, behold, thy Son returns, having purged the earth with the deluge of my blood, sparing all who sought refuge in my own body. Behold, O Father, the garden tilled, the seed sown, the wheat grain transformed, the vine heavy with rich fruit. Behold, O Father, I come, bearing precious and everlasting gifts. And with straight, still greater fervency, the Saviour now implores, Behold, O Father, the people I have won for you. Behold, Adam's race reborn. Behold, thy children. Behold, the wounds of love I bear, the work of their hands. Behold, how deeply impressed I am by these, your people, Behold, O Father, how they each have mortally wounded me and drawn a draught of my own life's blood. Behold that blood, O Father. Behold their bloodied hands and bloodied lips. Behold and forgive, O Lord. Behold death and sin and Satan all crushed beneath my cross. Behold your victorious covenant sealed in that same blood. Behold and rejoice with me, for I now give you back your people, pure and holy, blameless in your sight. In me they have tasted the sweetness of your presence, and now they long to feast on you. I have set them on fire for love of you, and behold, they now burn to see your face. They long for that perfection that might win for them a glimpse of your own glory. And how, who shall make them perfect but we who can freely give them this? Shall we not then send them our true and perfect love, the Holy Spirit that binds us as one, that we may finally be all in all? Behold, O Father, once more, the wounds with which they are healed. Behold the scars that have sur survived rebirth. Behold the weakness of my members. Behold my own body, still persecuted and despised. Give strength, O Father, and mercy. Give your life to this body of mine. Father, behold, I come to you and I am not alone. I come to you with my humanity. I return to the bosom of you, my Father. We return to you, Father. And the Almighty Father, infinite compassion and merciful love, his heart ravished by love's loving plea, replies, Behold, I make all things new. What prayer could I offer but Jesus? What gift could I present but Jesus? What sacrifice but Jesus? What worship but Jesus? What song of thanksgiving but Jesus? What song of gladness but Jesus? What offering or oblation but Jesus? What excuse or justification but Jesus? What word spoken to my Father but Jesus? Jesus, my brother, Jesus, 
my God. Father, let my prayer come into your presence. Let it rise like incense before you. Let it ascend through Jesus, in Jesus, with Jesus, through your heavens, through your holy courts, ever higher ascending, hidden in Christ, who whispers softly my name into your ear.